Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel 3. Today, uh, what are we doing? Well, we could, oh wait, we have two more hangouts, don't we? We have two more hangouts. Who's worth hanging out with? We got Yuna and Ash. Well, who's on the phone? Yusis and Gaius. Huh. <laughs> All right, well, um... That's a good question. I haven't gone around and talked to everyone just yet. I'm gonna do the side quests and the hangouts first. And then I'll talk to everyone. Um, yeah, I guess we'll hang out with Yuna. Yeah, yeah, we'll go hang out with Yuna. Hey, Freddy, don't talk to me just yet. She was outside, right? No, she's in the cafeteria. Okay, that's in here. She's up. Oh, she's over there. She's cooking. Oh, God, no. Well, she just made that cheesecake, so it's fine. Um, hmm. Yeah, we'll hang out with Yuna, and then we'll flip some coins. Flour check. Dry yeast check. You making bread? Honey from Aramorica? Uh, Salt from Berehard? Uh, looks like I got everything. Yuna, what are you doing? I asked if I could borrow the kitchen. I'm gonna try to make pretzels to- oh, jeez. I tried to make pretzel once. Did not work out. Uh, I think it's because I didn't use baking powder and baking soda. Yeah, I don't know why. It was like, oh, you, you need to make baking uh, mix baking powder into the, the flour and the yeast. And then you want to boil water with baking soda in it. And, uh, yeah, no, it actually just tasted awful. Huh. That braided bread thing. I mean, you're not wrong. But really? We eat them all the time in the Empire. Is it the same over in Crosswell? You eat them all the time, but you, you refer to them as braided bread? Why would you say that? You know what a pretzel is, you weirdo. Yeah, they're pretty popular. My younger siblings love them too. I did some research and then some parts of the Empire, there are popular snacks to eat during the summer festival. Uh, you know, I'm not sure if it's because my, my teeth are failing me in my later life, but last time I had a pretzel, it actually hurt the back row of my teeth for some reason. I didn't have any cavities because I, I have gone to the dentist since then, but it was kind of weird. Uh, I thought I could make some to send home with some other souvenirs. They're gonna get stale. Oh, that's a great idea. No, it's not. It's gonna get stale. That cheesecake you made yesterday was pretty good, so I'm sure you could pull it off. I mean, I'm sure you could pull it off if they were closer, but it's gonna get stale. Well, don't keep your hopes up. This is my only my first time making it, but if they turn out well, I'll share some with you too. Making pretzels. Should I help? Yes. You know, would it be alright if I helped you? Huh? I should have experience gathering ingredients for pretzels. She just said she had all that shit from when I was a student. It may be my first time making them too, but I'd love to try. I'd also love like to thank you for your thank your family for the time we visited during the field exercises. <laughs> okay, fine. I guess it'll, it'll all work out. Instructor, did you did you know that pretzels are a little different in Crossbell? Really? You'll see when we're making them. Oh God, what are you gonna do? Make them with like the souls of orphans? Let's start prepping right away. Make sure you pull your weight. That would be a hard ingredient to get. Well, maybe not. Re especially in the Empire. Uh, Regan and Yuna started preparing the pretzels together. <laughs> Trick, they're, they're clumping up. You need to stir at a steady rhythm. Gotcha. Now we let them rise in the oven. No. No, you don't. You cover them like that, and then you leave them on the counter for like a couple hours. What do you mean rise in the oven? Are you baking them? Yeah, is it like the oven off? If the oven's off, I guess that's fine, but you just cover it. And then you let them sit and rise. We'll have to wait a little bit. I actually have these uh, pre-risen ones already. She's a cooking show. When did you... I made these with leftover ingredients from yesterday's cake. 
Let's get these ones ready while we the new batch rises. Wow, she's a cooking show, you're right. Need, need, just like this. Let's use up the whole batch. Aren't these kind of small? I thought they were supposed to be... Nah, this is fine. Come on, pick up the pace. We gotta bake them. That is a tiny oven. Oh, they're done. I mean, to be fair, I do have a, a solo bread making. I don't make bread anymore, but I used to all the time. When you can't eat bread, really, you're, you don't really make it anymore. But I do have like this little oven bread, uh, bread oven in the corner that's gathering dust that is about the same size as this, actually, though it's in a different shape. Well, not quite yet. We need to dip them in honey and sprinkle some salt on them. Ah, those are the finishing touches. Pretzels with honey. The salt, yes. The honey. I guess, maybe. And done. Ah, they look amazing. They look like pretzels. Let's do a taste test. Honestly, they look kind of small. Crunch my teeth. Oh, that's a good crunch. That's much better than I expected. The harmony of sweet and salty. If I don't stop myself, we'll end up having to make more. Right, these turned out perfectly. During my research, I found out that these came from the Empire. Looks like Crosswell gave it a little twist by adding honey and other spices. Oh, I see. That's pretty in innovative. So this is something that never would have been created if the two cultures haven't merged. Well, I don't know about that. Emerge might be a strong word for that, because, you know, food, <laughs> borders don't stop food, and a lot of other places will adopt other places' food rather quickly if it tastes good. So, I don't know if merge is the right word there, but, yeah, I mean, there's plenty of, like, I know America is, like, mostly a melting pot, but at the same time, you look at all the different types of foods from different places in the world, and it's like... I mean, sometimes it's Americanized, like the American Chinese food is generally speaking, not the same Chinese food you get in China. Uh, but you know, there are other places that do it legitimately and make it authentic. And it's still pretty decently popular, uh, Indian food, you know, Mexican food, stuff like that has made its way across borders and not just America in England too. There's, there's a lot. Um, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if other places in the, across the world also had that. I know McDonald's has dominated the world in a lot of different places, and they started off in America. Yeah, I guess so. So anyways, that, that kind of, that's kind of why I wanted to make them. I thought maybe I could get a clue as to how we could resolve some of the issues between Crossbell and the Empire. <laughs> what am I saying? I mean... And now, I feel like maybe there's a future. I guess the biggest resolve would be either accepting that you were taken over by the Empire, and just assimilating into their culture and shit like that, or rising up and driving them out, and then putting Gil Gilead's head on a spike. Where people from both Crossbell and Erebonia. Huh, can I guess it would be Rufus's head on a spike, friends. wouldn't it? Because he's the one leading Crossbell and empty and like for the Empire. She still, she still hasn't given up. She's persevering. You gonna head patter? This is it. Here's my chance. Um, instructor, I want to use this opportunity to head pat. Thanks. I'm proud of you for saying that as an Imperial and as your instructor, I'll do anything I can to help you achieve whatever you strive for. W what? Uh, darn it, instructor. I was so close to saying it. Uh, you're so frustrating. I am the head pat master. Huh? Saying what? N nothing. I'm not sure what's going on because I'm dense, but you know, you look a lot happier than you did before, Yuna. You look a lot redder as well. And so, after a con consoling Yuna for a moment, Reen left the kitchen. Oh, wow. Really? We maxed you out? Is there actually a way to see that anywhere? Cause I know the like the links aren't exactly connected to the bond, or aren't exact, aren't at all connected to the bonding levels. So is there a way to see that? Notebook, notebook, probably notebook. Character. 
Uh, no? Oh, we finished Muses? Interesting. Um... I do gotta read some of this stuff, don't I? Yeah... Um... Yeah, I guess not. There must be a way to see it. Somewhere, we maxed out Toval. We've only seen him once! Annabelle. Uh, uh, well, I mean, that's that's fine, I guess. Yeah, look at that. Wins 20. Losses 0. We almost have all the cards. Huh. Yeah, we're missing... Missing one for fire, water, and air, and two masters. Well, hopefully I get them at some point. Look at all this shit. Look at all this shit. These fishes that give me a bunch of stuff. We only got like four more left, so hopefully they give us some pretty decent stuff, too. This is what I'm saying, the rewards for actually fishing up the fish are great in most regards, but the trading rewards are pretty shit. Alright, so now we have Ash, we have Usus, and we have Gaius. I don't really care for Ash that much, he does have a cool weapon. We have not seen Usus or Ash like at all. Not Ash, uh, uses our guys. She's I even, even replaced guys with Ash there for a second. At like all during this game, except for like last little part of the last chapter. Um, I guess we could hang out with Gaius because he's all mysterious now and I guess inhuman in some regards. Uh, sure, let's hang out with guys. I was gonna flip a coin, but let's just hang out with guys. Uh, subject past, present, and future. How's it going, Reen? Uh, it was a nice talking to you and Elliot the other day. I'm actually going to be in direction at the moment. I'm going in direction at the moment. I need, I'm needed in the capital. Feeling the wind through the train window and talking to you makes our field city in Nord feel like it was just yesterday. Well, not everything is the same. Lemaire showed me how much you've improved your skills since then. It made me think of the future, and with the future in mind, I'd like to start training again for the basics. Let me know if you know any good places to train. May the wind of the goddess guide your path. I don't know why, but imagine Gaius with the wind blowing through his hair on the train is picturesque. The summer festival in the capital is next weekend. Sounds like Gaius will be able to make it. Can't wait till we're all together again. I feel like when we're all together again, that's when shit's gonna hit the fan, so I guess we could potentially wait. If there's any place that works for Gaius around here, it would sit the keep. We went there with Lara once, and he's already headed this way. Might as well ask if he can uh, make a stop. Sure. Hey, guys. Oh, wow, Reen, I, you called as soon as my, uh, so soon after my message. No, I didn't. It's been a day. Why wait? I actually know a good spot for you the for you at the branch campus. If you can, why not stop by Leaves? I like that. And I'm pretty close, so as it happens. How about we meet at the station? Sounds good. Sounds like we're following a script. Reen didn't have to wait very long before guys arrived. Oh, I should have looked for... Was it Stark or Sydney that was looking for uh, cards? Uh, so this is Leaves. That must be the branch campus over there. I always wanted to come uh, come here, but I never thought it'd be like this. Well, either way, it's good to have you here, guys. Oh, right, and Z... Squee! As you can see, he came too. Um, so where's this training place you spoke of? It's at the campus. Here, I'll show you the way. Rain and Gaius went to the campus to visit Einhell Keep and asked Professor Schmidt for permission in using it. Now! Rain explained the situation to the professor, who agreed to help out with the training course before Class 7's trial. They decided to try one of the sub routes based on the older levels. I'm still really confused by the fact that we 
don't actually have a quest for the sword. That seemed like the perfect setup for, like, a whole little sub-quest of trying to fix freaking Valimar's sword. So this is what's inside the keep. Uh, so this is what the inside of the keep looks like. The air in here is churning with the breath of the powerful monsters. I can see why you guys use it for training. Yeah, this route may not be that long, but it's certainly no walk in the park. With you by my side, though, I think things will be different. <laughs> with the two of us, this will be a breeze. Let's do this. Now, let's begin our search. Yes. Let's look around the room real fast. Um... There's probably not going to be any treasures, right? Just boxes? Sit. Who's one of those guys? You are from... Take them down. You are not from. Never mind. From where, Kronos? From anywhere, apparently. Huh. Yeah, for some, they look like the monsters we just fought the other day. I'm up. But that is not the case. Conform scale. What it's level are you guys? Forty-three. So you're about on level. Uh, power SS. Now let's go with this one. Roaring winds. Sweep them away. As the wind guides us. Pretty craptastic experience. I mean, they are kind of low level. Never mind. <laughs> some reason, I thought we were only level 43. And that, and that, I think that's the students, right? No, they're 41. So I was wrong on all account. Get out of the menu. Thank you. Can you turn around, please? Thank you. Alrighty. Oh, come on. You can kill two boxes at once. Any newer enemies? Just those one guys? Yeah, just these guys, huh? I honestly, they probably don't even have many. These guys. monsters probably Come don't even count for the book, me. right? I would imagine not, because not everyone's gonna be able to. Well, then again, I don't know if the game's set up so that you get a hundred percent the book, like in one playthrough. Probably not. Given New Game Plus, it was a good spot to rest. No, it's not. Don't you lie to me. Not a good spot to rest at all. That is that is a good spot to rest. We don't need it, though. Roar, I'm a dragon! Kind of. Like a mix between a pterodactyl and a dragon. There's our foe. Let's get straight through it. Roger that. Come on, guys. Give it your all. There's three of you fuckers? That's rude. Probably should have put Gaius up front a little bit, right? You got 36,000? Ow. It's my turn. It is my turn. Second form, damn! Now! There! I might just do this. <laughs> my blade. Calm as still water. I don't think they'll kill Reem, but there's a lot of turns before he gets a chance to go. I also probably should have put on like a break order or something. Seventh slash, fallen leaves. Actually, we don't even have that. Yuna's not in the party, right? Shit. Leave it to what me. What do we have? Sacred roar. Oh. Bellow, okay. Yeah, roar. we do have something like that. Leave it to me. Uh, so how about this? We can only hit two of them? How about this? Oh. You didn't break them! That's probably not good. You won't escape! Well... You won't escape! Yay, insight. Leave it to me. We can finally break them with this. Thunderbag! It's my turn. It is. 
Get back. Did we hit now. them? I think we hit them. There. Shoot. And it's ladders. I guess this has a higher break. Oh. It's you know what? Rush. Let's go, Reed. Leave it to me. Huh? Okay, we killed two of them. Good. Stop yeah. with the dark breath! I'm up! Dick! Yeah. It's my turn! Huh? Gaius! Stop charging! I'm up. It hurts! Sit. Okay, stop! No. Missing! It's my turn! Huh? We do waste a zero order Thanks. there, but at the same time... It's my turn. It is. Do this. Crimson Slash. Okay. Whew. Everyone okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Hey, that's a good experience. All right, got it. Whew, that was strong. Sure, but we are stronger. Thanks, Reed. I need a little training. That's it for the level three sub route. Huh, you made better time than I expected. I thought you were in more in for more of a struggle. How'd they crank things up next time? Now, if you'd be so kind, get out! Uh, every time, does he ever wake up on the right side of the bed? Anyway. What's up, Reed? Nothing, I was just thinking how good it is to be working with you again. Our training to keep is done. What are you going to do now? Well, I have some time until the train arrives, so I thought I'd look around the school. Great minds think alike. I was going to ask if you wanted the, the grand tour. Uh, Lynn works here too, by the way, in the medical department. Does she really? I haven't seen her since my days in the art club. Seems like the winds have deemed our reunion in order. Uh, in that case, mind showing me around? Not at all. You really like to bring up the wind. <laughs> like always. You could have just said, what a coincidence. I'll be happy to go see her. After leaving the keep, the two of them walked around the school for a while, and finally headed for the medical office to see Lynn. They get their wounds from the keep treated while the two art club members caught up. Afterwards, they all relaxed while sharing some Nord tea guys had brought with them. I see, a medical college in Crossville, huh? You really have grown, Lynn. Oh, not as nearly as much as you guys. Did you see get a chance to go to the sculpture exposition Clara held in Heimdall last year? Unfortunately, no. I wanted to go, but I was in a far off place on an important errand. I heard she's really been gaining fame as a talented young artist, so I'd like to go see one of her expeditions sometimes. Clara, I remember always seeing her hold up in the art room, working on her sculptures, rain inch or shine. Do both of you still paint? Yeah, I actually did a lot of painting over the last year. I've got quite a few pieces now. Let me know when you have some time and I'll show you. <laughs> I don't have much free time these days, but I would love to start painting again. Hello? Yeah, that's, that's right, the shipping company. Okay, understood. I'll head over and pick it up right away. Did something happen? Sorry, the medical supplies I ordered have been delivered, so I'll have to step out for a moment and get them right away. Or put, get them put away. Ugh, understood. It's still a while before I have to go, so take your time. Uh, even I see even those outside of Class 7 are hard at work. Yeah, the world doesn't revolve around Class 7. Despite what the game thinks. Yeah, everyone really put their all into making it into the past they've chosen. I see, well, I'll have to make sure I keep the pace with them. For you, Reen, or, or for Lynn. And for Z Zio, who's been watching over me from the, the great sky above. Zio. They say the, that a wise falcon hides its claws, and I get the feeling you're the same way. Now, why would you say that? Well, I don't have any proof, but while we were in the keep earlier, I felt something. Gentle yet powerful, some power you didn't have before. I think your new strength is backed by whatever the power is. Uh, though I can't really figure out what it could be. I see. Intuition is impressive always. Reen, I... Hold on, you don't have to tell me right now. No, you do. Tell me. 
Sorry, I wasn't trying to force it out of you or anything like that. Uh, I'm positive you have a good reason for not telling me. And you did say you'd tell us all about it one day, so it would be irresponsible of me to hear about it myself. Reen. To be honest, I'm still sorting out my feelings about it. Now, this has sudden change in me. I'm worried others may no longer accept me. A change? <laughs> well, it has been a year. And, you know, as you grow, your body does change, guys. Are you getting here in weird places? Of course, you're going to change. No matter what happens, you'll always be you. Well, an important friend of mine who's called who's called Erebonia his second home. Thank you, Reen. Those words are very comforting to hear. And again, I promise when the time's right, I'll tell all of you in Class 7 everything. All right, when the time comes, we'll hear you out. One day we'll all see each other again in is the day we'll all see each other again is near. I'm looking forward to it, guys. Yeah, me too. I'll tell you all then about the road I've traveled. Okay, I'm gonna assume it has something to do with that old man that we saw on that picture. Afterwards, Lind returned and they all had a pleasant cup of tea until the train arrived. Reen promised guys that they would see each other again soon, saw him off at the train station. And then Lynn did the same wave animation that everyone does. Your bond with the guys is strengthened. And then Chronos... There's a quick button to get to this screen? What the fuck? Okay, I gotta remember that when I need healing. So it's right on the D-pad to get to the arts menu. And then left on the D-pad to get to the money. Uh, not the money. <laughs> the, the, the item menu to get to the money. Yeah. Um, Jesus. All right. I guess now I'll do the side quests. You're right. Let's start with the uh, cards. Uh, which is either Sydney or Stock. And then we can go to the other side quests. Now, this quest in here might be... something else. A lot of people in there. But it also might be... That's Sydney? It's Stark. Y'all look the same. Uh, the Parser and Heimdall didn't have anything. Uh, it's gonna be impossible to find, isn't it? Checking the open then, huh? Looking up porn, huh, Stark? Are you still looking for those cards you were talking about? Instructorine. Yeah, but no matter where I look, I can't find them. It's true they're old, but it's not like they're stupidly rare or anything like that. I see. That deck of cards I bought. Uh, it's a long shot, but maybe I'll show them to Stark. Sure. There's something I'd like you to look at. This wouldn't be happen. This wouldn't happen to be what you were looking for, would it? Is this your card? A card case? What's so special about it? Check inside. I'm keeping the card case for my master cards. Vantage master cards. What's inside? These are... It really is them! The set of the antique cards I've been looking for! But not just that, these scratches and creases. <laughs> this is the exact deck I lost! The exact deck? Yeah, these cards are my treasure. They were given to me by a guy I really looked up to. Okay, then I'll only charge you 50,000 mara for it. But one day, my dad sold them to a pawn shop, thinking they were his. Ah, so that's what happened. Pretty stupid, right? If I'd taken better care of these, it never would have happened. Seeing these again reminds me of those days in Jirai. He was four years older than me. Smart, strong, cunning. I can't even count how many times he fooled me with these cards. He must have been quite the trickster. He's still in dry. No, in the Civil War last year. Oh, is it Crow? I see, sorry. I'm dry, four years older. Hmm. Hey, good news, Stark! He might not be dead. But all that aside, where'd you even find this deck anyways? Uh in Jingo's shop. I was there earlier and the, had the card case recommended me. When I looked inside there was a deck of cards sitting in there. Guessing the previous owner sold the case with the deck still inside. I see, so the cards were hidden in there. Maybe that explains why I had such a hard time finding them. Uh, well, all's well that ends well. Glad you finally found them again. You owe me 50,000 Mera. You should keep a close eye on those, Sark. Might as well keep the case, dude. No! Vantage Master case! Huh? But I can't just take them. This is true. He can't. You need to pay me. You said you shot those cards for your treasure. Reen, shut up! 
course I'm happy to have them again, but I can't just accept them like this. Let me pay you a hundred thousand mirror. Yes! A hundred thousand? This is all the money I set aside to buy the deck if I ever found it. Just in case someone else got it, got to it before I could. Please accept it along with my stuff. Yes! Yeesh. Shit, this is a test, isn't it? This is a test. This is a test. This is a test, Kronos. You want to refuse. I know it's a test. And I'm about to fail that test because I want that 100,000 mirror. But I feel like if I take the mirror, they're not going to give me the mirror. Um. Well. Uh. Take the mirror. No. Yes. No. Take the mirror. Yeah. No. Okay. If I take the mirror, I feel like he's either not gonna give me the mirror, or the or that like he's like I was only joking or something stupid like that, and then I'll have to stab him, but. I'll lose maybe like AP or maybe he'll even just give me the money, but I'll still lose AP. But if I refuse, I'm an idiot. But refusing what Reen would do, and that's why he's an idiot. Ugh. Take the mirror. No. Yes. No. Yes. Stark, I didn't think you're actually gonna give me money. I was, I was saying all that like, give me fifty thousand mirror is kind of like a joke, but the fact that you doubled the price. <sighs> shit. Shit. Just say no. Say no. Don't say no, though. Just take the money. No. Say no. But mut. No. Do the JRPG hero thing and refuse. He might even give you more money if you refuse. That's how that works sometimes. You say no and they give you better shit. I can get 100,000 mirror by making mashed potatoes. It'll take maybe 10 minutes, not even. Just say no to drugs and say no to Stark's money. I don't want to say no, <laughs> but I'm going to because I am a hero. Sorry, I can't accept it. God damn it. How about this? Let's make a little wager. A wager? Yeah, I'm going to throw a 50 mirror coin. Oh, shut up. You just have to guess which hand I'm, I'm holding it in. If you guess wrong, you keep all that money of yours. Wait, what? If you guess wrong, you keep all that money. Oh, okay. That's how that works. All right, I accept. But if I guess right, you have to accept all the 100,000 here. Oh, give me the money. Here we go. Well, were you paying attention? Which hand is the coin in? Uh, let's see. This was his favorite trick. Start the room probably testing me to see if I know it. Seeing that call, uh, seeing that coin fall down below was proof. So the correct answer is neither hand. Nice try, but it's not in the neither hand, is it? That's your guess? Let's check then. Oh, the right hand's empty. How about the left? What? <laughs> you look surprised. You knew the trick, so you thought you knew the answer. <laughs> I see. Uh, you pulled a fast one on me. You had two coins, then you let one drop and kept the other one in your hand. Yep, that, that's exactly. You're pretty good, Instructorine. Dick. You might even be better than Crow. Well, I don't know if I go that far. I had a feeling you knew Crow. Uh, you must have really looked up, looked up to him back in Jirai. Well, yeah, he taught, really taught me a lot. But I hadn't talked to him since he left Jirai. That long, huh? He was around 13 when he left, right? And it was right after the former mayor, his grandfather, died. Everyone looked up to him. I was only 8 when it happened, so I didn't really understand the situation back then. To this day, I still regret that I wasn't able to say goodbye to him. I've been just, I've just been chasing his shadow since then. During the Civil War, I heard rumors of the Azure Chevalier 
But, and I thought maybe, by the time I finally figured out his identity, Crow was our, had already... Well, I'm sure you know. Yeah. Wow, it's pretty incredible that you were able to find that much out on your own. Thanks, I guess you could say Crow taught me well. Incidentally, I ended up deciding to come to the branch campus because I heard you'd be here. If you get a chance sometimes, I'd love to hear more about Crow from you. He really had... He really was quite a card. Yeah, you said it. Still, I never could have guessed that that's what brought you to the school. In any case, I'd be interested in hearing about what Crow was like when he was younger. So let's meet up sometime and swap stories. Yeah, I'll be looking forward to it. I'll never lose this deck, this deck again, I swear it. Thank you so much, for Instructor Reen. No problem. Give him the money. Give him the money! You were, you were wrong! That masked man, there's no way it could be Crow. I hate to break it to you, Reen. Give me the money! Oh, wait, no. It was, if he was wrong, he kept the money. That's stupid, Reen! I'm assuming we wouldn't have gotten this AP then if we took the money. And AP is probably more important than money. Says someone who doesn't know what they're talking about. <sighs> I should have just taken the money. Why didn't I take the money? Because it's not the hero thing to do, Cronus. It's still money! And we can make it, we can get it with- I'm gonna, I'm gonna make mashed potatoes until I have 100,000 more Mira. That's happening. That is totally happening. I want my 100,000 Mira. How much money do I have? Yeah, okay, at some point I'm gonna have 173,000 Mira. That's right. Fuck, fuck. Goddamn game actually giving me a choice. Uh, Reset Bakery. Hi. Oh, welcome, Instructor. Did you come here for my request, perhaps? That's right, your bread is great, too. But I just came to help out. You wanted me to look for something? Yes, but it's personal. I'm so sorry for bringing you out here for this. It might be a little harder than you expect. Uh, don't worry about it. So can you tell me about it? Um, okay. Are you aware that I'm not from the, I'm from the leaves? I'm not from the leaves area. I'm actually only moved here last year. Yeah, I heard. But in that time, your store has gotten so popular, people are coming from all the way from the capital. That's pretty popular. Fortunately, yes. But I actually came here once before, two years ago. I really fell in love with this town and decided to open a shop here with him. With him? So you came here on vacation with a, your boyfriend? Um, well, he was my lover, my fiance. So yes. Oh, I see. I never, I never knew she had a fiance. Wait, you aren't running this place on your own? Yes, we promised that we op would open the store together, but due to certain circumstances, I came here by myself to get the business rolling. So that means there's a chance, Reen. Recently, though, I received a strange letter from him. He sent me a grand opening gift, but I need to solve the riddle he gave me to in order to find it. The riddle, you say? That is interesting. Huh, he can be too playful sometimes. It's not urgent, but if you could help me... Um, a gift from a fiance. I don't blame him for being bothered by it. Uh, it's probably won't, it probably won't be a ring, will it? But they're already engaged. I would assume she already has a ring. Right? Offer the help. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, I'd love the help. Thank goodness, it's been bothering me for a while. Now then, would you mind taking a look at the letter? Certainly. Uh, dearest Lisa, you should have opened the bakery by now. I'm sure your days are filled with work and worry, but when you have a spare moment, I'd like you to follow these clues. The, the secret word where we left behind at a place we travel, we tra where, where fra travels first stop, there you should be able to find my gift to you. Hmm, I see, it's some kind of puzzle. Where travelers first stop, so that'd be like the train station, right? Because, well, they don't have to take the train. Inn? It's either the train station or the inn. I see, it's some kind of puzzle. The place where travelers first stop. The first place a tourist visits is... Do you have any idea what he means? Yeah, I think I do. Your gift should be waiting at the very end. I'll let you know when I find it. Very well, I'm sorry for putting a personal trouble like this on you. But thank you, Instructor. Alright. Here's the thing, though. Shouldn't you be solving this on your own? Okay, so here. The 
part of the room where travelers first stopped. The first place in town someone would end up would definitely be Leaves Station. Uh, it was no exception. I went through here, too, the first time I came to Leaves. Time sure for those fly. You could have walked here. The secret words we left behind at the place where travelers first stopped. Next part is the secret words we left behind. I guess I'll have to look around. Is it that shiny thing over there? Probably that shiny... Hi? You know, I'm only... Oh, you mean the memories notebook? You can find it in the waiting room over there. Oh. Is that like a memory crystal where you can see past cutscenes? Memories notebook. Please use this to record the memories of your trip. This is a notebook for visitors to write their thoughts and memories in. The secret words we left behind. I wonder if Lisa wrote anything in here. Uh, that would have been two years ago, so that would probably be a new notebook, right? Because that's a lot of people that would have to write in this after two years. And that's a tiny notebook. Ah, uh, here we go. Lisa, he took a day off so we could come on a two-day trip. Leaves is such an adorable little town. Julian, our dream is to open a bakery. Like I thought, small towns like this are better fit for us than a crowded place like Heimdall. Hope we'll be able to find a good location. Huh. We'll also have to go visit the house of Sh the Shining Cup together. She did say yes, after all. That's a private matter. No need to be shy, Lisa. I'm not. Huh, I'm not sure I get what they were talking about or why they were writing it like that, but it's clear they were enjoying themselves. But this part sticks out to me. I must be what the letter was talking about. The House of Shining Cup. Where in le leaves would that be? Maybe I'll check there. House of the Shining Cup. Like a tavern? Oh, the chapel? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. <laughs> I guess I never really saw their emblem before. Or really. Oh my god, I'm going to destroy you. Rosine, sorry. Sorry, I get a little get a little 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 uh into vantage math. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Man, the girls really don't doesn't come to play. Right. Uh I would like to play you in vantage masters, please. Okay. Hi. Please go easy on me. Absolutely not. Have you have you been seeing what I've been doing to people that play against cards against me? Uh, that's good. F these dogs. Still good. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to get a four increase. Uh, let's see. So put that there. I'm tempted to bring out the the archer lady. But I'm not going to. So you put that up there. And then we attack. I will attack you first because you're a healer. Then I will stop. And then we'll bring out uh, ranger lady next time. Well, not ranger lady. The, the lesser ranger lady. Honestly, that's a stupid decision on your part, Rosine. No offense. But I am going to just wreck you. Absolutely. Uh, go here. Uh, and attack you. And then attack you, I guess. Probably should have healed yourself first. Oh, you can attack twice. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh attack again, then. That's fine. Damage up, please. Oh, so good. Ah, uh, sure, do that. Oh, we won. Sorry, Rosine. I, I look, look. I, I like you. You're a lovely lady. Um, but it just comes with the territory that I have to stomp you into the ground, Advantage Masters. <laughs> Congratulations. Please don't hate me. Is that like one of the last cards we need? Yeah, okay, so we need two more normal cards and two more masters. 
Uh, the House of Shining Cup has to be referring to the Septon Church, right? Father Henry might know something. I better ask him. Oh, can I help you with something? Uh, I'd like to ask you a question. Do you happen to remember two travelers coming by here by the capital about two years ago? <laughs> Jesus, how vague can you get? There were a couple. I, I'm sure you've seen quite a few people that might match that description, but... Uh, actually, I believe I know who you're referring to. They came to enjoy a tour of the church together. The two of them were, in, were so in love, I couldn't possibly have forgotten. Two have recently gotten engaged. If I remember correctly, the na man's name is Julian. They consulted me with uh, potentially having their wedding here. Oh, I see, so that's what the note meant by her saying yes. You may already know, but the woman was Lisa, the bakery owner. She comes around from time to time. Yeah, it turns out she fell in love with Leaves and ended up moving here. Unfortunately, Julian hasn't come yet. Father? Sorry, it's nothing. Oh, is Julian dead? I just remember that Julian left me a letter. He told me that someday someone would come here asking about two, the two of them. This is Back to the Future. Do you want? Do you want me to give it to you? Well, I don't know if it's worthy of receiving it, but it should be fine. It's what he requested. Besides, you've been helping Lisa out, haven't you? All right, I, I'll take it. Here it is. Now let's see here. Lisa, the one thing I know for sure will we will move to this town someday. So until then, I'll leave this gift with the keeper who watches from the hills. Hope this happiness lasts forever. This is... You left the gift somewhere. Does that mean it's been somewhere in leaves for two years? That's pretty surprising. Well, this happiness lasts forever. Isn't the kind of message you leave just any gift? Huh, did you discover something? Yeah, I think I have a good idea. I should look into this. The keeper who watches over the hills. If leaves... If it's leaves, the hill part probably refers to... Could it be that one spot? That one spot that hopefully is marked on my map? Because I actually have no goddamn idea what the hell you're talking about. Uh, in the campus. Go to the field. Ah, okay, so it was the garden. I don't know why I thought it would be the field. Sandy, you haven't seen anything that was, like, romantic over here, right? Aside from your garden. Here? Here? Apparently there was a small hill here before the branch camp was built. The keeper who watches from the hills. Could it mean the tallest tree here? Okay, I'll check it out. Uh, Ring got permission to dig from the big tree in the garden area. At the searching couple spots, he undiscovered a, uncovered a small box wrapped in oil paper. I didn't expect to find something like this here. This Julian guy seems like quite an interesting person. Anyways, now that I've found it, I should tell Lisa. Oh my, so this is where it's been all this time. But why would he do something so run about like this, mumble mumble? Um, would you care to do the honors, Lisa? Oh yes, well then. Lisa? Oh, something, I was just thinking about how long he's been since back then. Lisa gently opened the box. Inside the small box was a beautifully wrapped bottle and a letter. To my beloved Lisa, by the time you read this, you may already have opened your, up your bakery. If so, then I'd like to congratulate you. Your hard work has seen the dream we shared, uh... We shared come true at long last. I wish you all the blessings in the world. But the fact that you found this means I must no longer, no longer be by your side. It seems I've left you all alone, and for that I am deeply sorry, my love. I swore to always make you happy, and I've been proud to uphold the promise your whole life. So, Reen, there is a chance. But I worry that, in my absence, your beautiful smile has been exchanged for tears. This may not be enough to atone for, my, for breaking my promise, but I've included herb seeds with this letter. I've got them during my last post. They're supposed to be pretty good. Well, uh, well, full of nutrients with a distinctive flavor. I know they'll go perfectly with your delicious bread. I hope my worries prove to be nothing, but that you're, that you're smiling, and that you're smiling, that beautiful smile of yours as you live out your dream. My eternal love to you, Julian. So this is what you left me. This is very like you. I had been wondering, but... Did Julian... I'm sorry, Instructor. I didn't... I shouldn't have kept it from you. He... Julian... He was a very kind and smart. Uh, was very kind and smart, but he was born into a poor family. In order to get a scholarship, he had to enroll in a military academy out in the co co countryside. After graduating, he said he... Uh, he had to give back, so he enlisted in the military. He planned to retire from the military after two years, and then open up a breakery together. But one day, he was called to active duty and never returned. It's already been a year and a half since then. So he did pass away, and in the Civil War too. Was it in Nord? I know there was like a few nameless NPCs there that died. After I lost him, I didn't know what to do. 
After a whole year afterwards, it felt as though my very soul had been ripped apart. And even after that, it was too painful to live alone. So, no, maybe it was that I wanted to run away from the place that we had lived together. I ran off on my own to leaves and opened a bakery. But somehow I felt as though I had broken a promise to him and I felt so guilty. But seeing this, it seems like he'd already forgiven me. Yeah. It's given me that Julian generally wished for your happiness. And as a soldier, he knew something might happen to him, so he buried this letter for you to find. He worried that you might end up losing your way. So he wanted to make sure you opened up that bakery you planned. Huh? I don't know that for sure, but I feel like that's the message these herb seeds are meant to convey. We should give them the Sandy. I see. The first letter I showed you was sent by his family. They found it while going through his things. It was though he'd written the letter himself only the other day. It seemed like he just knew I had opened a bakery. I found myself wondering how he could have known. But I think I was, I was finally able to receive his last wish for me. Thank you very much for finding this. And please come visit our bakery anytime. Of course I will. You're the only one in town. You got me as one of your regulars. Can I have some seeds, please? Special pancakes? Ah, oh, but the seeds! Alright, that's fine. We'll do the last side quest next time. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all then. Bye!